Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Boast about your God. You know, if you want to boast about your God, you've got to look at Him. You've got to look at Him. You have to consider Him. You have to, you have to study Him. You have to um, meditate. I'm telling you, your 70 to 80 years is not enough. You don't have enough time to think about Him. That's why we have eternity. <laughs> But the thing is, if the amount that you think about him here will make a difference here. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the amount you decide, I'm going to think about God, is going to make a difference here. <clears throat> Today the world is, um, you know, the world will love you if you celebrate yourself. But you're called to celebrate God. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're called to celebrate God. You, you were born again to be a prophet that celebrates God. Listen carefully, church. You were born again. You had a vision of the most holy God. You know the meaning and power of the name of Jesus because you were, you were, you were created to be a prophet for the living God. To declare His excellencies. Praise the Lord. Celebrate God. I want to encourage you. Celebrate God. What should the people at the foot of Mount Sinai have done? Celebrate God. How do we stay in a place of purity? Celebrate God. You know, I love that song. Celebrate the child who is the light. Now the darkness is over. Praise the Lord. No more wandering in the night. See, Israel kept wandering. You've got to celebrate God. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Re refuse the dirge of this world. Celebrate God. Praise the Lord. Celebrate God. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Human history is the long, C.S. Lewis said this, Human history is the long, terrible story of man trying to find something other than God to make him happy. Let me repeat that. Human history is the long, terrible story of, of man trying to find something other than God which will make him happy. Let me, those who are listening to us, don't think anything else will make you happy. True lasting happiness is in the hands of Jesus. Praise the Lord, is in the embrace of Jesus. Listen, it is in the embrace of Jesus. True lasting, deep happiness. <sighs> Sin is a tyrant of the soul. Terrible tyrant. You know what tyrant means? A terrible ruler. A, a, um, a, uh, um, you know, a, it will lead to ruin. It, yes. It is, it is tyranny. It is, um, it will, you will dwell in fear. Sin is a terrible tyrant of the soul. This is by a person named Castleberry. Grant R. Castleberry. He said, sin is a tyrant of the soul. Repent and kill it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Repent and kill it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, come out of it. The Spirit of God is saying, come out of it. Wherever that, that area may be, come out of it. Um, repent. Kill it in the power of the Holy Spirit. Man's nature, John Calvin said this, man's nature, so to speak, is a perpetual factory of idols. Hello? Whew. Praise the Lord. We'll take anything and make it an idol. You know, we, we'll, I mean, if we can make this an idol, I mean, this is some serious creativity to make this an idol. Kundam. Huh? It's not living, it's dead. I'll repeat that again. Man's nature, so to speak, is a perpetual factory of idols. You know, examine yourself constantly. I, I tell people, uh, one of the things that scripture encourages us to do in every stage of life is examine yourself. What did, the, what did the apostle Paul through the Holy Spirit tell us every time we break bread? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Examine yourself. Be careful. 
be careful that nothing else has taken the supreme spot. Uh, nothing else is more celebrated than the one who created you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pornography is a, is a, a terrible idol and issue that is uh, plaguing the nations. Let me repeat that. Pornography is a terrible idol and evil that is plaguing the nations. It is eating away joy. One person put it like this. is an anonymous person. He said, porn is not free. Oh, wait, wait, one second. He said it like this. Let me get it right. He said, porn is free because you pay with your soul. Are you listening? Porn is free because you pay with your soul. A man ought to be at war with his sin and not embracing it. Church, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. At the foot of Mount Sinai, when the idol was erected and, and uh, what happens from there, uh, the sword had to be drawn. I hope you're aware of the rest of the story. The sword had to be drawn. We are at war with sin. With all the uh, phrases we are so familiar with now, we, we uh, I don't know, we, we, you know, like love the sinner and hate the sin. And, you know, it can get a little confusing. Yeah. And uh, when uh, repentance is not the battle cry of the church we have a problem you know what is our battle cry repent it is the sound that every person that walks into this church will hear repent change change repent of your sins this is the time is now the time is now not later the time is now praise the Lord a man ought to be at war with his sin, not embracing it. Praise God. Sin has and will bring nations to ruin. Hello, church. I, I hope that you are aware. Sin has and will bring nations to ruin. I mean, if you read the Old Testament, that is the story of um, the ups and downs of the nation of Israel. What a terrible condition they ended up in. Terrible condition. Whenever sin was tolerated, whenever sin was, was celebrated, whenever sin was encouraged, it led to ruin. Today you are at the precipice. All of you are witnesses. Listen carefully. Sometimes, you know, I think there's a stupor. We, we don't understand. Uh, we, we're not seeing things in the perspective of heaven. You are, at, you are at the generation that is witnessing the downfall of great nations. For they embraced sin than God. Let me repeat that. You are a generation that is seeing nations crumble because they embraced sin instead of God. Praise the Lord. How much more can we encourage you? How much more can we encourage you to walk away from sin? To become a changed person? Praise the Lord. Let your character change. Praise the Lord. The things that you used to do, you do them no more. Make that transition. Destroy the idols in your life. Whether it be um, uh, unrighteous anger, whether it is uh, lust and, and, um, or it's greed or it's um, um, malice and, and uh, you know, some bitterness. Allow the Holy Spirit to remove these things. Praise the Lord. Remove these things. We are in a glorious season. Yes, it is the right time. Praise God. The Holy Spirit is, is beckoning us. The glories of Sinai. Praise the Lord. The glories of the God who displayed such great power await us. Somebody say glory to God. Praise the Lord who displayed such great power awaits us. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. So I encourage you, remove the impurity. Yes. Battle the impurity. Yes. In your spheres of influence, affect people. Stand firm in the truth. 
Stand firm in holiness. Open your mouth and speak where you should speak. Every one of us are going to get ample opportunities to put our foot down. Yes, we are entering that period of time. Yes, you are, will be called upon to speak the truth. Yes, you will be called upon to speak the truth. Praise the Lord. And uh, do not tolerate sin. Do not tolerate sin. Call it what it is. I tell people, call it what it is. This is the problem. Don't um, um, uh, flirt with sin. Don't uh, give pretty eyes to sin. Don't, uh, yeah, you follow my drift. Call it what it is. See the demon behind it. See, always see the demon behind it. Call it what it is. Praise the Lord. And it will keep us, if we walk away from it, if you walk away from sin, I don't know who the Lord is speaking to very clearly. If you walk away from sin, if you are being tempted at this time to do something that is against the word of God, this is the express command of the Holy Spirit. Walk away. Don't do it. It will lead to ruin. It will lead to ruin. On the other side is Jesus. He wants to embrace you. He wants to build you up. He wants to heal you. He wants you to transform you from a vacuum to a, a rock on which he will build his church. Did you hear me? He wants to transform you from a vacuum. You know what a vacuum is? Just sucking stuff in. You know, it's like, an, it's like the black hole, the theoretical black hole, I must say. Yes. From there, he wants to transform you to light. Where people begin to see. Yeah, you understand. It's like we are the light of the world. We, we allow people to see. That transformation is what the Holy Spirit is doing. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us fill our hearts.